Hi. Under the series of various uh, customers accounts with the banker, we have seen the relationship between banker and the customer in the previous videos. Uh, today we will be seeing only the liability type of accounts. What are those liability type of accounts? Fixed deposit account there is a major uh, part in the banking. Then we have recurring deposit account which is otherwise called monthly deposit also. Month on month you keep uh, crediting a fixed amount for a, a fixed period that is monthly deposit or recurring deposit. Third and fourth are running accounts, operative accounts. One is savings account for individuals for savings purpose and, all, and uh, the, the last one is current account. Current account is for business purposes. Current account can be opened in the individual names also. So these are the four broad categories of accounts we have but today we will be seeing fixed deposit account and various um, modes, various settlements and loan against that all those uh, details we will be seeing in today's video. There were competitions on the interest rates. So Reserve Bank of India earlier had a regulation. They were monitoring the deposit rates for the banks but uh, later on they freed the interest rates being offered by the banks and it is left to the discretion of the board of the bank to decide on the uh, interest rates that can be given on various tenors of the fixed deposit. So Reserve Bank directives allow the freedom to for the banks to compete on the interest rates front. So we will see the fixed deposit. What is fixed in the fixed deposit? Tenor is fixed. Tenor meaning the period with which the FD is to be run is fixed. Amount is fixed because that is decided at the beginning. Rate of interest is fixed. Name on which the deposit is being made is fixed. So it is a separate contract between the customer and the banker to have this money for a fixed period of uh, tenor with fixed interest rate that can be either renewed or to be settled in the accounts of the customer. There are various options also available in this. One is monthly interest scheme. From the fixed deposit, month on month, the interest can be credited back to the customer's account. There is one more is quarterly, half yearly as well as annual. In case you are opening a fixed deposit for one year and you want interest to be paid every year end, that is also possible. Or month on month senior citizens, they open fixed deposit and the interest is being credited into their account um, for their maintenance purpose, that is again possible with uh, little lesser in the interest. Lesser meaning it will be 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 to 0 0.05 to 0.1. So only that much will be the lesser interest on the uh, monthly or quarterly interest being paid. Factors affecting the present day interest. How the banks decide on the interest rates being offered on the fixed deposit. The overall liquidity in the banking system, that is the criteria, main criteria. So what is the interest rates being offered by the government on small savings scheme, that is being seen. Cost of refinance available from the Reserve Bank of India. Then rate of inflation is also considered. Generally the banks offer higher interest rates on deposit on the longer maturities because the commitment is more. As per Reserve Bank of India directive, banks generally offer little higher rate 0.1 to 0.25 percent on a single deposit of 15 lakhs and above. Similarly, deposits in the name of senior citizens are allowed interest rate higher than the normal rate of 0.5 to 1 percent. So, fixed deposit meant for senior citizens offer higher rate of interest for them. So these are the fixed deposits we have. Under the Senior Citizens Savings Scheme 2004, all branches of public sector banks which are operating public provident funds are permitted to operate Senior Citizens Savings Scheme. Under this scheme, fixed deposits up to a maximum of 15 lakhs are accepted for a period of 5 years from senior citizens. That is people above the age of 80, that is senior citizen, I am sorry, people above the age of 60 who are offered interest rate of 
say nine percent per annum with quarterly payment of interest. So this is a special uh, deposit scheme which is available in the public sector bank. This deposit may be further extended to three years also. Renewal before maturity is it possible? Yes, RBI is permitting that. So opening and operation of fixed deposit account. For opening a fixed deposit account, a depositor is required to fill in an application form wherein he mentions the amount of the deposit, period of deposit that is to be made. He also gives his specimen signature. A fixed deposit receipt is thereafter issued to the depositor. So payment of interest, as I told you, there are various modes available: monthly, quarterly, half yearly, annual, or on maturity also is available. How do you calculate interest on overdue deposit? What is a overdue deposit? If the fixed deposit is kept for one year and the customer did not turn up to the bank, then the deposit is moved to overdue deposit. Legally, interest ceases to accrue. There will not be any interest on this on the expiry of this fixed period. But the banks, at their own discretion, allow interest thereafter in the fixed deposit or a part thereof if it is renewed from the date of its maturity. Till some agreed future date, so banks would have specified some future date. If it is renewed that way, then interest for the overdue period also will be given. If the overdue period exceeds 14 days, deposit should be treated like term deposit, and banks may prescribe their own interest rate. This we have seen. So payment before due date. Though a fixed deposit is repayable on maturity at the expiry of the specified period, banks also permit encashment of such deposits. Even before the due date, if the customer is wanting that, the rate of interest applicable will be given. Say, for example, a customer is opening a fixed deposit for one year, so one year rate of interest is say, for example, six percent. But he comes and closes within six months' time. Whatever the interest period for six months is, say, if it is five percent for six, five percent for six months, minus one percent will be deducted. That is, penalty is levied on the pre-closure. So then the said rate would be reduced by one percent, which will be four percent. Uh, I'll give an example in this case. A deposit of rupees five thousand for a period of four years at ten percent is kept in the bank. After one year, the customer wants the deposit to be repaid. Interest for deposit of one year is nine percent. Banker will pay now eight percent on this fixed deposit. I hope this clarifies the the stand on the premature closure. So, is there any loan given against the fixed deposit? Yes, it is given. Loan against fixed deposit in the same name is given, and uh, the normally the interest rate will be either one percent or two percent higher than the fixed deposit rate, and uh, normally sixty to eighty percent of the amount is given as a loan. Say, for example, one lakh is the fixed deposit, sixty thousand to eighty thousand roughly, depending upon the bank's discretion, loan can be given. The interest rate will be charged if it is 10% on FD. 12% will be charged on the uh, advance against fixed deposit, loan against the fixed deposit. Uh, can the fixed deposit be opened in joint names? Yes, it is possible. It can be either opened in either a survivor case or former a survivor case. In case you lose the fixed deposit, what can we do? A letter signed by the depositor or depositors informing the banker about the loss of the receipt and requesting it to issue a duplicate receipt can be given. A duly stamped letter of indemnity is obtained. A note to this effect should be made in the fixed deposit register. But nowadays, you can open and close uh, FD in the electronic form itself, in the mobile banking, net banking. Actually speaking, there will not be any receipt issued to the banker. Only the advice being given uh, by the banker to the customer. Only a deposit advice being given. So it it no longer um, requires to be submitted to the banker for the closure. You can do it online itself. Change in names. If a received is, receipt is issued in the name of unmarried lady who requests after her marriage to change her surname in the receipt, banker should comply with such request. So documentary evidences will be taken, and the change of name in these circumstances will be allowed. Deceased depositor. A term deposit along with interest at the contracted rate. Becomes payable on maturity to the legal heir or the nominee of the deceased depositor. But the, if the amount of such deposit is claimed before this maturity, 
RBI has permitted banks to pay applicable interest without charging the penalty. If such deposits are claimed after the date of maturity, banks should pay interest at the contracted rate till the date of maturity and thereafter at the rate permissible on the date of maturity. So these are the uh, deceased in case the customer has expired. So the nominee or legal heir can come and obtain the maturity proceeds in the, from the bank. Mode of repayment of fixed deposit. Deposit along with interest can be paid. Aggregate deposits along with interest or interest can be paid separately and principal can be renewed for the future period. So, uh, if the interest amount exceeds 10,000 rupees, as per section 194A of the Income Tax India Act, TDS is deducted by the bank. So, um, in case you don't want the bank to uh, deduct the TDS, you should submit 15G or 15H. Form 15G is for general public and for senior citizens it is 15H to be submitted to the bank. So, tax benefit on bank deposits. Is there any tax benefit? Under section 80C, the 5-year de uh, fixed deposits are eligible for tax exemptions. New schemes of liquidity for term deposits. Some leading banks, especially foreign banks, new private sector banks and State Bank of India have recently started new schemes to attract the depositors by providing additional liquidity to their term deposit. So State Bank of India depo uh, has launched multi-purpose deposit scheme wherein term deposits, special term deposits account holders is permitted to withdraw from term deposit through savings bank account uh, units of 1000 without attracting any penal interest. For this facility, the term deposit should be for a minimum amount of 10,000 and thereafter multiples of 1000. And the YC website is also available. You can have some of the savings account of FD to be created on a fixed period for 6 months period for the fixed amount. That is also flexi deposit that is available. So I hope this clarifies the details of the fixed deposit which is available in the bank. In the next coming video we will see about recurring deposits, savings deposits and savings accounts and current accounts details. Thank you very much for patiently watching. Bye bye.